the sight of yellow jerry cans, popularly known in Ghana as Kofo Gallon, evokes one general thought, water shortage. For postgraduate art students, however, the plastic containers go beyond water and related challenges. Emmanuel Okran of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology believes they represent Africa's problems. Kwasi Debra visited a site where the artist has constructed what he calls fluid catalytic cracker. In the following report, he attempts to relate some societal problems to the artist's brain work. Don't battle with barrels, it's forever. A companion, a bond, a man's savior. Then I'm looking at infrastructure deficiencies. You know, it seems we are lacking behind. For so long a time, we have not, not developed infrastructure. The roads that leads to our farms to harvest cocoa and to transport them for, you know, for us to earn foreign currencies. We haven't developed those uh, tracks. Our train lines are not well developed. Even in our urban migration, we realize that of late we have seen a lot of slums picking up. Everybody is trying to find its way in the urban centers, thereby putting stress on the little resources that we have. You no, know, uh, people struggle for accommodation. When you go on our streets, they, they sleep in the markets outside. And they contract a lot of sicknesses and other preventable diseases. Hundred will gaze stars, rectangles smoke, a candle and I lace one five zero, a lifetime saving weep. I was in my room when I heard some structures on fire and I rushed out. All my properties are destroyed. We were away, she says. We came to find everything destroyed. I'm a NADMO coordinator from Asomasi Municipal Council. And I'm here to afford those people who the fire disaster has occurred to them. I'm here to present what you have seen here. You, you can see that the fire has burned here and everything has burned. If that time it was the light of him to the burned candle, and that can cause that fire disaster. So I'm here to register those people that have affected to that issue. For, to send their name to the code motor headquarters for code motor to come and see what they will do to them. Married, room filled with eight, a window bags. Zakaria Idrisu. I come from Salaga, Northern region. My wife, I have one wife, one wife, two children. See, everything that happened, we gave to God. So you can't say the way the money has been. If you want to be thinking of the money, you, 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 you become mad. Or something will uh, happen to you. We made, we made our mind that if God give us money, we'll go and rent a house and be staying there. It will be better than staying here. Mosquitoes 
biting you during rainy season, water will disturb you because before you before you come here during rainy season when we we are coming at down there you will remove all your dresses and left only your pants you will swim sir you will swim uh, come and enter your room we don't have peace here during rainy season dry season to mosquitoes are deserving us they bring force they brought force uh, they, they brought a lot of uh, things but we didn't see a, a, except bucket and one cup one seminar uh, one soap and one mosquito night that's what we have To produce these gallons, they came through industrialization. And to have processed such a, 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 a material means a lot of you know, pollutants have been emitted into the, into the environment. How then can such a material conserve water? It tends to reveal how we are unconcerned concerning how we deal with the environment. Many of us pollute the environment, and we don't even care. Indiscriminate logging of trees, disposal of waste. These gallons came from Europe, and when they entered into our spaces, they have transitioned from a water, from oil gallon into a water gallon. And these gallons also were first made by Adolf Hitler in 1937, when they were going to the Second World War, that was to carry local logistics, fuel, water, food, grease. We are no longer engaging in any Second World War. Why then must it be used in packaging oil? My name is Imanuel Rukran. I'm a contemporary artist, and I have an installation here made out of Kufo gallons and pipes, and it is called fluid catalytic cracking. This is a, a basic science technology in processing complex hydrocarbons into gasoline. And I'm picking this understanding because there are a lot of issues that this uh, work concerns itself with. And its explanation will give us the basic idea of how it relates to the environment uh, issues on politics and our social life. Thanks for watching news. That's called Johnny. Stay with us when we come back. We'll bring you more stories.